Thank you very much, Rob, and the rest of the casters. I'm here at the sidebar where throughout the weekend, I'll be joined by some of the brightest minds in competitive Hearthstone and also Raynette. Raynette, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, TJ. I was a little concerned that the uh, audience would feel a little bit intimidated from an analyst desk. It's a little bit too good looking, but uh, glad you're here to help balance that out, buddy. Anything that I can do to help. Glad to have you here, Raynad. Always a pleasure. I know someone else who's excited. We actually have our very own Frodan who's standing by Fireside. Frodan, how's it going, man? I'm doing great, TJ. Well met. Don't worry, buddy. We have some cold water under the sink to apply to those burns. I do happen to know another card slinger from the Midwest who has uh, a lot of unfulfilled dreams and wishes in tournaments. Raynad, how do you think Jockey would do this tournament? I think Shockey's chances are great. A lot of great players. Uh, I have plenty of fulfilled dreams in tournaments. Oh, okay. all yeah. Thank you, TJ. Welcome back to the Tavern. My name is Sotl, joined here on the desk by Savitz and Reynad. And I'm enormously looking forward to this matchup. Let's talk a little bit about these players. Amnesiac as the, uh, the sidebar there. Elaborated on a little bit. Very, very confident young man, bordering on cocky at times. But as we'll hear a little bit more from Talion as well later on, he's a very confident young man himself. Um, Reynard, do you have a little bit of experience of uh, expressing confidence in certain situations and having it pay off and maybe not pay off? You know, does it put any more pressure on you as a player? Oh, not too much. I can't recall ever losing a game of Hearthstone personally, so I can't okay. imagine it not paying off. But So we're going to take a look at the third match that we saw today. It was between Talion and Chalky, and Chalky went up to a quick 2-0 to zero lead in the series, but struggled to find a win with his Shaman. Raynad, you had uh, a few criticisms for some of the inclusions. Why did he struggle so much with the Shaman? Uh, well, because he didn't use a list from TempoStorm.com. That's my guess, TJ. I'm kind of surprised that Amnesiac is that surprised that it was Fireballed, because I'm sure Talion understands how powerful like one mana, zero mana Solemn Vigil is in this deck. And if you allow a Doomsayer to go off, that's what happens more often than not. So. I'm actually an expert in that expression. That, okay. was, that was not surprise, that was saltiness, because that Fireball is off the top. Ah, <laughs> so Raynard, I knew we had you here for a reason. <laughs> Shining through with your expert analysis on salt. So he's looking to pick that up. Oh, hey, that guy's good. Hello. I've heard about this minion. Mm. Is it any good? <laughs> I, I, it reminds me a lot of War Golem, Savitz. I'm on the fence. Start with Portal here. Just get the mana spent. See what you get. Hey, <laughs> what's up, buddy? <laughs> Murloc Tiny Fin. That's some of the best artwork in Hearthstone there. Yeah, just leave that there for the rest of the tournament now. Just that draw should never slide back in. We can just have we can just hang out with Murloc Tiny Fin. Snail walking a mile in Raynette's shoes. Yeah. Except he's winning games. Alright. Friendship in the QQ group. For people who are not familiar with QQ, it's uh, very similar to Skype. It's, uh, it's it's online messenger system where they can message, and there's thousands and thousands of chat rooms uh, that are dedicated to Hearthstone, and specifically with their practice group. Um, it's just kind of funny to us because in the West, QQ also is a, is a way to express, you know, raging over a game. So in a lot of ways, it's very ironic. Uh, I actually happen to have a QQ group as well. I like to call it. Uh, sometimes people call it Tempo Storm. Oh, Sky High. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> caught off guard by that, but <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. bit. But yeah, sky, it's, <laughs> sky it's so hard. Sorry, I'll cut you off. <laughs> you say it's so hard to to come up with comebacks when you have to be PG, you know? Uh, ah, yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah. I understand. It's a family show. It's a family yeah. show. Yeah, pretty much all of Team Celestial they started pulling their talent or started pooling their talent directly from this QQ group immediately. Uh, and I know you've played against them a lot on ladder, Raynad, and that's just a testament um, because Raynad's usually at the top peaks of ladder. <laughs> you do have jokes. I like that. We also have a special announcement revealing a new card for Whispers of the Old Gods. That's right. So uh, I know this. I know this card, and I want to show it to Raynad and TJ. I didn't tell them. It's called Eater of Secrets. It's a four mana two four card that says Battle Cry: Destroy all enemy secrets, gain plus one plus one for each. And Raynad, you are an expert on that topic. Can you please give me some initial thoughts? on what it's like. Nah. Um, so we did learn a little bit about this secret. Let us know what you guys think. Hashtag HCT and uh, tweet at us. 
And of course, uh, never invite Raynad to your card reveal parties from this point <laughs> forward. I mean, this is just one of the reasons I feel like Druid's a little bit favored. You get to that mid game, and you just threaten combo to win the game from absurd life totals. And then you see right there, Mijak uses Code Force and Nature to take 100% off of Sky High's life total. <laughs> I'm gonna backtrack here to challenge Raynad's lore knowledge. How dare you? Was it Milhouse? <laughs> wasn't it Wilfred Fizzlebang as the gnome who summons Draxus as opposed to oh Milhouse Manastorm? Oh man, now I'm a now I'm a bigot. All gnomes <laughs> look the same to me. <laughs> Sorry, TJ. We're getting one game closer potentially to having this warrior mirror, to which I am ready to be blown away by the insight that TJ and Raynad will provide in contrast. We're, we're, I already asked the PA to, uh, yeah. to pop some popcorn for me. We're absolutely going to probably have the opposite view on place going through yeah. that series. It's great, man. That actually brings uh, a very us, balanced discussion. Uh, one of us will be correct, and one of us will be TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I'm so yeah. giddy for it. It's gonna be so good. Mm. So Ooh, many tech choices, choices yeah. in this Paladin. Ragnaros, Abusive Sergeant we don't see often, Eggs. Would you say that the deck is average, or would you say it's excellent? Mm. Mm. <laughs> there you go, Dan. Pretend like the joke didn't happen. I'm gonna try to as well. Arcane Golems and Arjun Horse Rider, that's something that we don't usually see. So perhaps he just said, I just want to hit face a lot. <laughs> yeah, this deck looks yeah. like something Twitch chat would build, to be honest. <laughs> Ask them type the word charge into the search bar, put all the cards in. Uh, it's still really anyone's game, but that was definitely a key victory there for... Uh... <clears throat> Sorry. I'm for for chest, dude. For chest, chest dude. dude. <laughs> I'm... I'm you are so blown away. So okay, he, he's so by impressed by that eviscerate top deck that Raynad is rendered <laughs> speechless. It's okay, Raynad. Early we call are too. times, man. Early call times. <laughs> it's, it's a rare sight that you don't have. Uh, you don't. Raynad doesn't know what to say. That's right. Exactly. Listening to myself talk definitely one of my favorite hobbies. But uh, <laughs> just such such beautiful words. A very what? aggressive Ooh. doomsayer from Chess Dude. How do you know? <laughs> oh. He's genius. Psychic. Something. What a play. I yeah. mean, Are is, you serious right now? Crazy. Raynad, Raynad's smiling. <laughs> Two un unprobable things just happened right now. Speechless Raynad and smiling Raynad, all in the span of five minutes. Chess dude is sick. If, if I were Nostum right now, I would, be, I would be claiming sniping. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Raynad, you've been playing an interesting patron warrior deck on your stream over the past couple weeks. Is it just because people haven't caught on to your innovative patron techs that you that you so much love that patron warrior is not as as popular uh well the the hobgoblin list that i've been streaming with isn't exactly typostrom.com approved yet um i'm getting there i'm working on it so your patron warrior deck hasn't put on its space shorts yet so to speak promo code One tempo day. for 20 percent <laughs> off your win rate with your patron warrior deck that's exactly what it is and with that congratulations i present to you the hearthstone america's champion for winter 2016 archon's amnesiac